How you doing today? Welcome to Mo's Math. Become a subscriber and donate anything you can. Any donation of over $30 or more, you will have access to all the answers you have, ever need for pipe fitting. You've probably seen this sheet here up before. A lot of these Excel sheets are, are very easy to navigate. Uh, we'll go through a couple of them. Here's uh, any angle set. You could just click on your pipe size, click on your inches, sixteenths, and feet. Self-tabulating, change your gap or pipe size or angle. And it's all very simple. Here's a rolling offset. You'll be the go-to guy on the job or in the fab shop. If you're a pipe fitter or welder, this is a must. Here's your pipe size. Here's your roll. Inches, angle of turn. Gives you your inside, middle, back arc for your fittings and gives you your end to end and your cut. You have your compound rolling offset. Okay, these are uh, very hard to calculate, but you won't need to, you just press the little buttons. Go over here, we have sets between fixed ends, a weld link and a weld neck. Change your gap and your pipe size and your offset and roll. Middle is inches, right is sixteenths. And then we get into some pipe fabricating. 90 degree rolled into a fixed elevation set of three and a quarter. Maybe it's four and a quarter. Maybe it's four and three eighths. Maybe it's 14 inch. There's your fitting you need. You're face to face and everything is self tabulated. Inline sets. These are all based on weld fittings. We have short radius, long radius, and 3R for the pipeline industry. 16 inch in your sets four inch one and a quarter requiring a 17 degree fitting if it was one foot four and a quarter you would need a 33 or two foot or three foot there you go we get into your fittings you can go short long 3r angle of turn pick your pipe size your inside middle and back arc is all self tabulated Okay, some of my favorites are the saddles. You can go 12 to 12, schedule 40, 406 wall, standard, schedule 20, schedule 10. We could go 16 on the big, bigger header. And I also include the cookie. There's not a book around that will give you the dimensions for the cookie. And we continue to go over here. We have dead legs. If you ever wondered where to get the numbers for dead legs, here it is. You have a 12 inch elbow with a 10 inch branch, standard 40, put it at one foot six, and it will be right in the center or concentric. If we move it off the back to one foot seven, then it's eccentric. We have eight ordinance and we have 16. Now, couple. Last one here, reducing laterals, one of my favorite. These numbers are biblical. We have a 16 inch branch with a 24 inch header with a standard wall at 57 degrees. Maybe it's 65 degrees. There's all your numbers. Thousands of hours went into figuring this out. There's your cookie hole. Once again, a donation of $30 or more to Mark Dewarth, hit the donate button. Please help fund future videos, training for the future pipe fitters. And when you get to that page, add your email in there. When your email is there and I receive the $30, I will share the 35, 35 files through Dropbox and you will receive an email giving you access to that. So please help keep the page going, and I hope this helped you, and hope to talk to you and help you in the future.